Should we look at what I'm resorting to today? <laughs> that is that blue sack. Hello! <laughs> Very, another, um, we're going, right? This is a thing. Okay, cool. Yeah, Hello. Yeah, I'm, I'm going. Um, <laughs> Another very professional, another very late episode of The Bat Post with me and Adam. As always. And uh, Adam, normally, I'm also Ooh. just having my tea, um, so just deal with it. Um, Adam, normally, we um, get straight into the games here. Yeah. Uh, normally, we talk about Tottenham, then United, yeah? We're not going to do that quite yet. Mm -hmm. Jay hasn't sent us a video yeah, has he, of his recap. Or do we have it? No, I was going to ask no, that to so you. No, I don't think so. We're still waiting for that. So. However, I was discussing with you a little conversation me and Jay had last week uh, about the thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, just because I was tired and I was in a rush, I have um, made Jay's part of the thumbnail ever so slightly smaller. It wasn't an attack on Jay. And if, if, he'd, <laughs> never, if he'd never mentioned anything, it would have gone back to the way it was. Nothing... No, well, I wouldn't say so. You know, it would have just been random selection, but uh, it was an honest mistake. Jay's made a very, very silly error, Adam, oh. and he's, he's he's messaged me, and he's um, and he's asked me to fix it. And you know, I'm a I'm a reasonable guy, <laughs> so um, I'm just gonna fuck with Jay until he's back. To be honest. That's my, uh, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> there's nothing he can do about there's it. There's nothing there? he can do about it. He can fuck himself. Um, <laughs> honestly, wait till, I mean, you'll have already seen it, but wait till you see the thumbnail of this video. Wait till we cut to him. Oh, oh. you'll have to, you'll have to have a microscope. I can't wait. When we cut to him. Um, but aside from that, aside from that, um, I can't help but feel that Tottenham have played again first. So normally we'd talk about Tottenham first, but we're not going to do that. Because mm -hmm. we, we, we'll let you, we're going to let you go first. Not that you know, and we're gonna we're gonna hear about okay. United against Liverpool because it's a a it's a bigger game, and b um, it's just you know I don't know sharing is caring I guess. Right, so let's we just start again, Adam. Right, yeah, we're, let's start. We're, again. We're talking about United, and Adam's a bit more chipper about United. Mm, yeah, I am. Why are you a bit more chipper about United? Well, I, I saw a, a good performance. I saw a solid performance from us, actually. And I saw a courageous performance, I think is the key word for it. Because the first half, we we, we was all over him. We went 1-0 mm. up, we played great football. Fantastic and, goal as well. Oh, yeah, it was amazing. I was like... Oh, I enjoyed mm. that. And just while we're on it, and I, I, we will go, I guess well, I'll just interject when mm. we get to points of the game that are talking points. Never a fucking foul. No, was it foul? Just as if that's going to... Football, <laughs> I mean, football's dead anyway. We saw that with the Ajax disallowed mm. goal last night as well, if you saw that. Yeah, no, but if that's been disallowed, that United one, then fuck it, yeah. what's the point? I know, and that goal, it, Rashford as well, it, it had to be Rashford, didn't it? I was, I was buzzing, honestly. Mm. But uh, no, so we went in first half and we... I was no, I was delighted. We played, we played good football. We caught out second half, and it happened again, and we just fell asleep and stopped playing. And it is led it to falling asleep when it's against Liverpool, though. No, because is it not arguably you did like? Let's be honest, like Liverpool are a far better side than us both. Mm. Is it not just? Is it? Is it? Can you? Is it fair to call you fall asleep when you're now the only team in the entire league after nine games to take points off them? Yeah, I think is so that falling asleep? I think the game was there for the taking, like like it was with, with the Arsenal game. I feel yeah. like if we we we'd have come out that we went in the first half, we'd have got a second goal. That's fair. But when you, you know, compare it to the Arsenal game, mm. that's a very valid point. Now, now I, I'm not that's... disheartened by the, the result because you know one one against a team that are unbeaten for how many games? Mm. You know, I'm happy with it. However, I, I just knew we could have won that game. No, yeah, I mean, I've, um. Uh, who what there? Yeah. I forgot who got the equal. Oh, it was Alana. It was Alana. Yeah, it was just after, a bit after, of a. After us all slagging him off, like for about ten minutes, he just went and knocked it in back post. Anybody? That is disappointing, isn't it? Because mm. as soon as he brought in, because it's weird with Liverpool because he brings on Alana and Oxlade Chamberlain. Yeah, and you and I think you as a as a 
fan of a different team go, fuck, is that all they've got? Yeah. Really? <laughs> and then they do do the business. Like, you saw um, how good were Oxlade Chamberlain's finishes last night. Did you oh, see yeah, him? no. Yeah, he was, 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 like, was their best player last night. Credit where credit's due. That mm. second goal. Because it said, like, that is a beautiful finish by Oxlade Chamberlain. I saw a tweet, and I saw his first goal where, you know, he drills it into the bottom corner from mm. 30 yards. Which is, I was like, fucking hell, fair enough. And then he gets the second one, mm. and I was like... Fucking shit! <laughs> like that's not my favourite goal of the Champions League. I'm sorry, I will go back to this, but I will go back to the, my favourite goal of the Champions League later. We'll continue on this game. Um, yeah, it was good. It was good. I did watch the entire game actually. I, I yeah. made an effort to. Um, so I was a bit nervous when Mane scored. Well, I say scored. So do we think that's rightly? Yeah, I think. Yeah. The, so firstly, the foul on us wasn't a foul. That, you yeah, know, I agreed. I think everyone agreed with that. Um, then when they score, I went to the toilet, uh, come back, and it, and it was one more. I thought, for fuck's sake, I just knew it was going to happen. Um, and they checked it, and it was and it was, it was one of the best feelings. It was, that's better than a goal. That <laughs> it's been this long. Like, you're talking to a man that was there for the City game. <laughs> well, exactly. The, when that happened, so yeah, twice. So um, he was getting so much abuse, honestly. Yeah, so for me, that should be a goal, realistically. But you can't argue with it because that's the rules. Like, unlike mm. the foul, where you can have a bit of leniency and look at VAR. Like, like my 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 thought is the rule shouldn't be a slight brush of the arm should mm. rule out a goal. However, that is the rule, so there's nothing to say. Yeah, but if 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 that if that wouldn't have hit his hand, it, it would have come away from him and the game would have probably picked it up yeah maybe maybe um, what is quite funny as well is you, speaking of the foul on who was it on was it Wijnaldum uh, no it was Origi weren't it Origi yeah. Mm. yeah of course it was sorry well it's just really um, funny because let me just get this right because do you remember uh, two seasons ago the game where Tottenham drew 2-2 against Liverpool and they got really pissy with us yeah um, so essentially Van Dijk lightly taps well he catches it's literally the exact same foul mm. as what happens to Origi and then but obviously when it happens when Van Dijk did it to Lamella that can never be a foul that's disgusting we've been robbed but when <laughs> it doesn't get given like they wanted against Origi suddenly it's like the, there's no justice you see there was oh. one caller into talk sport saying that like They've been like robbed, and he pays. He's paid over a hundred pounds to see a fixed match. And I was like, <laughs> "What are you talking about?" Like, but well, it does raise a really interesting question because Liverpool could get twice as good as they already are now, and United could get twice as bad. But for some reason, I'd still think they'd shit the bed coming to Old Trafford. No, I agree. No, to be honest, I went into that game and I was shitting myself. Yeah, but I something, there's something about Liverpool that just they should be. They should have smashed you. They should have. Oh yeah, they've, too, they've right. beaten better teams than you. Mm. We know that this season, and they should have come in and just spanked you. But they still look at Old Trafford and they kind of go, "Oh fuck." Mm. And that's what's weird about football, because yeah, we're going back to um, Liverpool fans. I saw, I saw, I saw a tweet probably yesterday, and it was, it was a compilation of Firmino's sort of interceptions and big tackles. And the caption was something like, uh, oh, the rest of the players in the Premier League are fairies, blah, blah, blah. We, we need more players like this. And I thought, hang on. We'll, we're talking about the club here who signed a petition to get the Premier League, uh, the Champions League final replayed because of the salary injury. Yeah, well, it's just it's just <laughs> Liverpool, isn't it? And you know, what, do you, know, you know what, for me, the most upsetting thing about Liverpool is now... I mean, you won't have this like I do because mm. you're a United fan, so that's completely fair. But fuck the fans, that's what makes me hate Liverpool. The actual Liverpool team, I'm like, fair play. You are, you are, I quite like them. I quite like the <laughs> Liverpool team, I've said it. The, 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 the manager and the club annoys the fuck out of me. I think he's a bit of an arsehole. Yeah. But there's a, there was a little clip that went around Twitter, and it's just such a small thing, and it happens at all clubs, I'm sure. But it was just. Van Dijk was getting a few balls put into his feet and he goes like to Klopp like oh do you want one boss and he purposely plays he purposely drills this terrible ball and a shouts first time is in have a first time shot mm. and he drills this awful ball and intentionally it's, it's it's pacey it's bouncing Klopp like connects to it it skies over the bar and you can just hear Klopp go 
you motherfucker. <laughs> and, like, and I just was like, you know what? Salah annoys me a bit. Do you see his hashtag, like, super dad or something? What did he oh. hashtag? Like, but Mane is this lovely, like, mm. I don't want cars and watches. I want to send money back to Senegal. I- incredible. Klopp is likeable, and I'm sure you'd love to work under him. Van Dijk is just a cool beast. Like, I know you don't want to hear it, but... Ah. I, I, I still think, James I still Milner think still Liverpool there. are frauds. Frauds. Go on, then. Explain that one. Explain that one to me. Runner up of the Champions League. Would Henderson get into your squad? Yeah, at the moment, just because the midfield's our major weak point, probably, yes. Mm, I don't know about that one. I mean, I, when they're all fit and firing, maybe not, but. Would Matic moment, get into your squad? No. No. He might do it if at the end of the season when Vitor and Alder are all literally have no legs left, but. No. They just have these really average players, and this is where I respect Klopp. He gets the best out of them. I don't but know about you... average. We're talking about like right, let's run through it. Allison, Allison, Robert. Like you can only say that, that, that. I would say one, like Milner. The midfield's a bit average. Like Wijnaldum's class. Wijnaldum and yeah. um, Fabinho has is all right. I think he's average. Mm. He was not the hype that he was supposed to be when he came from Monaco. Same with um, Kaita. He has not done what yeah. was expected of him. Um, somehow, Milner. So, yeah, I agree the midfield. Apart from <laughs> when Aljum is pretty average. But when you look at the defence, with it doesn't matter if my team's not that good because you've got Van Dijk, Trent Alexander-Arnold yeah, so. and uh, Robertson. And then yeah. up front, you've got Salah... Mane and Firmino, so it doesn't I think matter. Firmino is very overrated. He's overrated, but I don't know. You want to see? No, I, I, you, no, you I'm want a false nine that back that heels again. assists through. Like, that's what mm. you want in your life. Yeah. Like, mm. But uh, no, up to, to to round up overall, I, it, it was positive. We've just finished our game now with um, whoever the fuck it is. Partizan. Yeah, we won one yeah. nil. With a yeah, I, I like you. It's great. Is, is, is it been 1 0 every game? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I like I know, it. No, 0 0. I'm 0 0. Oh, cough, cough, of course. Mm. The AZ Altmar 0 0. How can I forget? Cool. So, um, but what yeah. I do like is AZ Altmar. Have you seen AZ's result tonight? No, but I, this is what I was about to mention to you as well. I'll okay. tell you some of the. So, Cluj are beating uh, Rene's 1 0 away. Cluj! Which puts them second. Oh, uh, and you'll love this one. Arsenal are getting beat at the moment at home. Oh, tell me more. Uh, nearly playing. Let's get it back up. I had it up here, but <laughs> one nil down to a club I've never heard of before. I'll tell you because I can't Let remember. We have a quick gander. Oh, Victoria. Yeah, they're. Um... <gasps> there we go. No. Um. Right. This is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> this is incredible. The the goal scorer is have you ever heard of Marcus Edwards? No. Right, Marcus Edwards is this absolute like Pochettino. He used he's a Tottenham player, but he used to be a Tottenham player. He used, oh, so right, Pochettino okay. pretty much compared him to Messi, but then regretted comparing to Messi. It's very complicated. He's not like Messi. Mm. He's, he's he's a bit like of a R- Ravel Morrison, one of the like okay, beautifully yeah. talented English t- talents that just would never work out because um because of that, and I'm not saying I don't want to say attitude. I don't know, mm. but he clearly something didn't clear. He, yeah. He's gone. He's gone to Victoria. Uh, but, to, but but at the end of the day, a Tottenham boy is all through youth academy is gone, and he's uh. He's done it. <laughs> oh, as well, what sort of hostel? Ah, uh, well, we can't, can't say much. We're like four places behind them. But actually, this is a, this is a topic I already want to talk about, actually. So, all I will say is um, Astana managed to beat... Fuck, what's your other one called? No, sorry. Um, AZ Alkmaar beat Astana 6-0. 6-0, so that's... yeah. <laughs> um, but no, all... so what I'm going to talk about now, and this is sort of, for both of us, I guess, mm. more so for me, but you're not you're not in a bad place. Yeah. I was going to talk about context. That, and that's going to be the name of the pod, I think. The, the, the name of this pod is going to be simply context, right? Because I'm not... This is not me defending Tottenham season, right? Tottenham mm. had a bad season. United have had a bad season, so far. Yeah? Yeah. We know this. Oh, Arsenal have just fucking equalised. God damn it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Um, but... Let me tell you some things about Tottenham now, and just let me see how bad you think it actually sounds. 
Okay. Um, we have four points in our Champions Group, Champions League group stage, which is three more points than we had last season mm-hmm. when we got to a final. We've actually, and this is actually a joke, but it's when it's not a joke, it just sounds like I'm making a joke. We've brought our goal difference back to zero after that battering of from Bert Bayern. Mm-hmm. So that's good. At least we're not like yeah, a goal yeah. difference anymore. Um, the Premier League table: Liverpool are on twenty five points. Man City are on 19 points, Mm -hmm. Leicester and Chelsea are on 17 points, Arsenal are on 15 points, Palace are on 14 points, and Tottenham are on 12 points. And yes, Tottenham are level with Burnley, Sheffield, Bournemouth and West Ham. However, that's only five points off fourth with 29 games left to play. Mm. That's fine. Like, there's a time where Tottenham would spend the entire season five points off fourth with the will-they-won't-they Oh fuck! Like I don't know if if United happen to um, slump to let's what's worst case scenario twelfth this season. No, I, will... you know what? I disagree with that. No, no, no! I'm not saying they will. No, yeah. Oh, before we carry on, we've okay. our next five games are all bottom. You know. Bottom of the Premier League. Yeah, ooh, careful, don't jinx anything. I know. You're, you're not going to... But I've said it all the time. <laughs> you will just refuse, won't you? <laughs> like, if you lose the next five, you're not coming back. <laughs> no, it's daffling. But... Um, no, what, I, what I mean to say is, if you happen to slump to 12th, mm-hmm. so what? Is there any difference between you finishing 12th and 8th? <sighs> n- n- yes, you Manchester United, and it's embarrassing. But No, in the I, I, I do understand things, your point. It doesn't matter, and it's all just. It, it's fun. Chelsea ended that season where they finished tenth. They've won a European trophy mm. since then. They won the league since then, for God's sake. Like, did they? I'm sure they were. Yeah, they have, haven't they? On the Conte, yeah. Yeah, and that was after the season they finished twelfth. Tenth was it, or was that with Conte? Uh, I'm hmm. not sure. Anyway, it doesn't matter. The point is, in the past five years, Chelsea have finished 10th and won the league. Like, it doesn't really matter. It's fine. Don't get relegated. Mm. Fucking don't get relegated. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, and, like, Tottenham are five points off fourth. That's two wins. That's two wins. That's, yeah. No, Arsenal, can, Arsenal can head away to Sheffield United and lose. Like, that's what can happen this season. They did happen. Yeah, let, let Liverpool... Monday. Yeah, I know. It's good. <laughs> let Liverpool and City run off. Let Leicester maybe join them, probably. I don't understand how that's happening. I don't particularly mind it's Leicester, but it's Brendan Rodgers, and mm. I'm not happy. Uh, <laughs> but no, it's, it's going to be fine. It's fine. Well, it's easy for you to say, isn't it? It's easy for us, but yeah, I mean, I'm used to it. Like, don't get me wrong. If you said to me last season, you will, you will get to a Champions League final under the circumstances... We we got there, but mm. you, you'll have to suffer a little bit of a difficult time and maybe finish lower top 10th I'd be like fucking absolutely what's the point of football otherwise it's that age old argument of teams getting into the Europa and then not taking it seriously just so they can qualify for the Europa it's a, it's a cycle yeah no. yes I, we yeah. want to win the league but it's not going to happen because mm. there's two teams that are far too good so so what we might finish 10th we've got battled by Bayern Munich what, whatever things shit happens <laughs> so should Abri happens it's fine it's all good alright would, would you take Finishing 10th, getting knocked yep. out, quarter-final in the FA Cup. What do you mean? There's got to be a payoff here. You can't just... Yeah, well, you won the FA Cup. Oh, sorry, I, didn't... I thought you said you got knocked out of the FA Cup as well. I was like, no, oh. I won the FA Cup. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. That's fair enough. We haven't had a trophy in 11 years. Mm. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be half tempted to do it for the League Cup. I'd half mm. t- tempted to do it for our under twenty ones to win the um, <laughs> the uh, what's it called Worthington not as you know it's called the, the John um, Smith Cup. No, it was the J Paint, and now it's the Leasing dot com trophy. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is funny. I don't know if you know about this. I might have discussed this last week, but did I tell you about our under twenty ones? No, I, I, don't, so, I can't remember. League one and League two play their full strength squads in the. Leasing Cup trophy, right? Mm-hmm. But Premier League teams are allowed to play their under twenty one team. Okay. Do you remember when we got knocked out on penalties to Colchester? Mm-hmm. 
our under twenty ones beat Colchester on penalties. <sighs> no, I do remember you mentioning that. This, yeah, the same Colchester team, and it was like, oh god, back in yes, because it, it was uh, <laughs> it was uh, City's under twenty ones that beat yeah, that Rochdale's. Was it. Yeah, but yeah, it's fine. It's all good. Um, anyway, yeah. Um, do you have anything else to say about United? No, no, no that's, that's about it. Hmm. Well, Tottenham um, didn't lose. Mm. Um, do you remember our game? I know it was two weeks ago now. No, it wasn't. It was a week ago. Sorry. Watford. Yeah, Watford. Yeah. With, with so, I, to be honest, I thought you lost the game. I didn't. I only saw it at the end. I thought. You oh, do you know, do you know what was cruel though? I was listening to. I had to listen to it on the radio, but it wasn't the Tottenham game. It was the Chelsea game on the radio. Chelsea <sighs> Newcastle. Newcastle. And I was so all the games ended, but Tottenham and Aston Villa. Who did Aston Villa play? Um, Brighton. Brighton. Aston Villa. Brighton had loads of added time, and so did Tottenham. So all the other games mm. had finished, and just because you know BBC sounds sort or of BBC radio sport are bastards, they didn't say <laughs> goal to Villa. Like they were just talking about the Chelsea game, and I know that Tottenham's still in play, and there's no other games really playing apart from Villa. And right. the commentator went like, "There's been one last goal in the Premier League," and like, I'm like, "Shit, <laughs> have we won? Have we lost? Is it even us?" Like that's so it was such a cruel way of saying it, and I was like, "Oh no!" Like, and then I was like, "Please don't say they've scored." It was like, "It's Aston Villa." <laughs> I was like, "Oh fuck off, <laughs> bastards!" Uh, yeah, no, it's all right. Did you see the Deli Alley goal? Yeah. Do you think it should have stood? I don't know. Well, here's a. I, I'm not even saying yes or no. I would just like to know, like genuinely, where the shoulder ends and the arm starts, mm. like in the in the laws. It, you could look at it a, a diff, few different ways, can you? It didn't. It, it didn't mean to do it. It didn't physically go to handball, did it? Do you know what should be a rule that they should sort of add in? What's that? Like, it depends how much the keeper fucks up because that was just mm. Foster's fault, one hundred percent. Dele Alli should have been able to just punch that in. That was yeah. <laughs> like they should have got. If he complained, they should have gone. No, Foster, you're a fuck up. Deal with it. Well, like, that's it. <laughs> you, 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 the, the other way of looking at it is the new rule. If if any attacker handballs it, it doesn't count. Yeah, but was it a handball? Was it does, like because remember the famous Balotelli goal where he shoulders it in? Mm. Does, is it any different to that? I'm gonna say it should have counted. Well, Good. it did count. You know. <laughs> oh, I agree. Good. Doesn't what? So go on. Talk through the game. Oh well, there wasn't really much. I didn't. I can't really. I've seen the highlights, but mm. we were poor again. Um, it didn't look great. Um, again, and it was quite funny actually because Ross uh, mate texts me saying, um, "What's the bet that Welbeck?" It's a well, one nil Welbeck win. <laughs> That's all he said. One nil Welbeck win. As soon as he said that, Welbeck got injured. And had to be subbed off. So I texted him and went, "Yes, mate. Keep jinxing them. We'll win." As soon as I sent that text, goal to Corey. I was like, "Oh no, the, j- <laughs> the jinx is reversed. Backfire. The backfire. The jinx." And then it just stayed like that. And then obviously they could have. They probably should have won. And it, I would be more worried. And I don't really have much more to say about it mm. than uh, other than I'm going to caveat this because it's only Red Star Belgrade and Red Star Belgrade have a terrible away record. Mm-hmm. Home they do all right, but away they haven't won in ten in Europe. So, but five nil against a team that's held Arsenal to a draw, beat Liverpool two nil. Um, there was another. They beat someone else in there as well at some point. Um, but we looked really good. We looked clinical. We pressed. I haven't seen Tottenham press in like a year. Mm. It was such a nice feeling. And I was like, oh, that's what we used to do, isn't it? We used to press the ball. <laughs> we used to force opposition to mistakes. And we just, you know, it might come to nothing. And obviously, we'll, we'll speak about this in part two, but the biggest challenge is around the corner. And th- that's why I don't really want to say much. Mm. I don't know if this is a turnaround. This is a turnaround if we put it. We don't have to beat Liverpool. We have to put a good performance in against Liverpool. Yeah, that's fair enough. Because, is that, is that know, Saturday or Sunday? That is Sunday at 4.30, the exact same time as United Norwich. 
Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? So I have a feeling you might not get the um, Sky Sports billing on that one, mate. Sorry. Right, great. <laughs> Can you imagine? So, oh, right, okay. Let's check, actually. <laughs> no, I've, I've, I don't, you were, I've already checked. Oh. It's, it's, uh, it's Liverpool. It's Liverpool. It's on them. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I just want... I say I want us to just play the good performance, but I remember mm. last season where we drew, we, we took them to 1-1 and then Alderweireld scored an own goal in the 90th minute. I'd rather that not happen again. Mm. <laughs> that would be <laughs> uh, I'm not going to speak about it too much yet, because, well, actually, that's all I've probably got to say on it. Fuck. Not that's fair. Uh, that's, that's, that's a first as well, isn't it? What? You're not really saying <laughs> There we go. <laughs> there we fucking go. Um, yeah. Um, I guess we'll end the part one there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Ooh, I don't know, we'll discuss what happens. Uh, we really had to scrape the barrel of things to talk about, so mm. let's do it. No, uh, we realised actually, as usual, we uh, forgot something in part one, didn't we? We forgot to talk, we forgot something, didn't we? Did we? Yeah, yeah, just, just you know, just a little, a little thing. We, we, you know, we have to do, uh, usually... It's a bit of a pain in the arse, but it's one of those things. Yeah, we didn't cut to Jay. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So, you know, uh, there he is, I guess. Hi, oh, boys. How's it going? Um, coming at you now from Hanoi, so I'm sorry if there's loads of cars beeping because it's just too wild here. But football, let's talk football. Um, I'm going to quickly mention the Newcastle game, but I'm not going to linger on it for too long because it was a very simple... A uh, game where Steve Bruce is Newcastle. Um, they put ten men behind the ball, pretty much, and it was extremely hard to break them down. Um, but we did on occasions, um, and eventually, on one of those occasions, we scored. Marcus Alonso with a lovely goal. Um, nothing more complex than that, really. Um, we could have scored more. We probably should have scored more, but we didn't. Uh, but we got three points and that's all that matters. We sit comfortably at fourth right now because of Arsenal's loss, because of Tottenham's results. So, yeah, I'm feeling good. Just uh, a couple of points behind Leicester, which is mad. Um, but we're here to talk about Champions League, aren't we, really? Um, I'm really interested to hear what you guys have spoken about, about the Tottenham game, about the Liverpool game. I hope you spoke about that. But um, I'm here to talk about Chelsea, obviously. Um, Chelsea Ajax, what a... Incredibly stressful nail biting game. I um I watched it the other, I watched it the other night um on my laptop in the corner of my home stage, just kind of like like that, trying to keep my voice down because it was a bit too late here. here. Um, and yeah, just incredible, incredible game. I must admit, both teams played extremely well. Um, we it, there was that a big element of luck in in the fact that we won. Um, but the performance we put in, I feel like we do deserve to win. That, saying that, not me in, in God, I couldn't speak then. Saying that, I didn't, don't mean that Ajax played bad. I mean that we played really good, and it felt good to get something from it. Um, that being said, it could have gone either way. As, you know, the offside. We can talk about that offside. Um, um, I think you know on the back post plenty of times me, Josh and even Adam have expressed our opinions on VAR um, and I actually don't mind it but it's not VAR that needs to change it's the rules that need to change and that to me yes it's offside in the rules so yeah that was the right decision VAR did well but then rules are just stupid because how is he supposed to not be a millimetre offside I think the rules need to change um, that being said, it was offside in the way the rules are. I'm happy about it anyway. It doesn't really matter for us because we got the uh, they got the goal took away, which was just oh, it was so scary. But other than that, they didn't actually have that many attempts on goal. I can't remember how the, the specific stats, but they must have had like two or three shots really. Um, that being said, also we didn't have that many. Um, but Shawai had that one clear cut chance and completely scuffed it, and then the chance that he actually scored was such a, a, a much more difficult shot to score. He's a weird player, isn't he? But he came on, Pulisic came on, and they both played extremely well, just like they did in the Southampton game, and made a difference because no one on the starting lineup was was actually getting past that third, uh, that final third of the pitch. Like, it was just, it was so tough to break them down, but, um, yeah, it's just an amazing game. I must, I have to say, Chelsea played so well. 
Um, one of the best performances as a team I think I've seen. We were just so comfortable on the ball, confident. Uh, also the high press, making sure we keep the possession, just press them into making mistakes. Um, a lot of the time, I ex were resulting into just kicking it as far as they can towards us and we would regain possession. Amazing game. Uh, and on his 350th appearance for Chelsea, Asby just had a, a belter game, which was just amazing to see because... He's been he's been having a rough patch to say the least. I think last season he weren't at his best, but it was okay. And then this season he's just not been nowhere near as good as he can be. And we know he can be, but that game that was that as I know he was winning every tackle. His last minute sly tackles were just ace. Just oh, I loved it. It's just brilliant. Um, it's a great place to be in. Uh, and then that puts us on. Uh, seven points in the Champions League so we're doing okay I feel like we can get out of these group stages now we have Ajax back at home and then the other two games and we can go on and get out of this group quite comfortably now I think with that result and yeah brilliant time um, but yeah that's all That's all it's going to be from me um, hope you boys are okay I hope everyone listens okay and uh, yeah tell you fathers cheers Jay that's up. <laughs> Oh, I'm not gonna. I'm not. Let's not. Let's not mimic him today. Let's just leave him. Let's just yeah. leave him be. <laughs> so um, the first thing we're gonna talk about, um, I guess, is I know it was two weeks ago now, and no one cared even when it was happening. So why should they care now? But the international break happened. Yeah, it did. Yeah, and well, you know, England had a had a play, and we there's not really we we had a shot loss to Czech Republic, and not very good Czech Republic at that. But mm. that happens. That's a thing that happens in life. Sometimes Czech Republic beat you. That's, you know. I don't really remember watching mm -hmm. that game. I remember Kane scored, I think. A pen? I, I, to be honest with you, I didn't watch it. Okay, so. I don't remember much, but yeah, th I know that their 30 year old Debbie didn't score the winner. But hey ho, we, we <laughs> brushed that off. We faced an incredibly racist atmosphere in. Bulgaria? Yeah, Bulgaria. Bulgaria and Sterling and Rashford and played out... Oh, and Mings um, played out of their skin and did a beautiful... A, had a beautiful performance against in really mm. difficult circumstances, and which did annoy me because I was convinced Mings was shit. And <laughs> I just thought he was. I, and I, do you know why I thought he was shit? Because in my mind, the last time I... Because I didn't... Apparently Bournemouth were playing out of position. But as far as I knew, Mings was a failed left-back at Bournemouth. That's what Tyrone Mings was. Turns out, he's not even a left-back. <laughs> so when I was seeing that Aston Villa were playing him as a centre-back, I was like, oh, well, maybe they're sort of playing him in like the, uh, uh, the left of a back three. And that's yeah. you know like a bit like Kyle Walker in the so like fair enough. And then like suddenly this they're, they're playing this two at the back and it's Mings. I'm like, well, what the fuck are they doing playing a shit left back at <laughs> centre back? And no, I'm an idiot and I'm wrong. So you know. Well, all I remember him from doing is stamping, stamping on, on everyone's head. head. He also uh, busted a few faces in the championship as well. Um, so you know, hopefully they were unintentional or Mings is a bastard, <laughs> one or the other. Um, no, going go back to the performance though, they, they really made me proud. I don't like watching England. I really don't. You're a Liverpool fan, are you? Nah, that's not. That's not <laughs> Monk, there. but no, Monk, that, not I was, English. I was, <laughs> at the end of that match, I was proud of them players because that what a hor what a horrible thing to experience. It is. Anyone, I, you know I mean? was really curious to see what would have happened if they had mm. walked off, and you know what. I don't think they should have walked off personally. I'm not, obviously, obviously mm. it's not for me to say anyway, but as far as I know, any competitive person that I know, anyone that I've, I've ever played football with that's really competitive, if they get insulted, and I know racial abuse is very different, but if they get insulted, yeah. degraded, that just makes that you don't, you want to play on to beat them yeah. on the pitch and prove that you're better than them. Like, like you, it, it, I reckon. But I can't speak for them, but in my opinion, I don't think Sterling and Rashford and Mings would have wanted to come off. 
Mm. I think if, if they'd been given the option, would you like to come off? They would say, no, actually, fuck them. Fuck them. Mm. Let's just let's just kick them. Let's just twat them on the pitch. And that's what they did. And, and we did. Maybe I'm wrong. But that's any competitive person I know has that sort of mentality. Mm. And it proves it right because you can, I mean, it's the most obvious thing to say in this situation, but how thick do you have to be to racially abuse someone that's clearly yeah. 10 times the talent of probably the best player you've ever had and he's not even our you know Sterling is just one of many and he probably is one of the best English players we have but he's one of many mm. world class players in Kane and Sterling and Sancho's getting on and in that bracket you know there's a lot of talent there and the fact that like Fico Tomori who still hasn't made his England debut is probably a better player than every single player in their squad. Mm. So, Are you right? You know. Um, and also, me and Ross are not laughing. Laughing is the wrong word. But do you know when they're all sat in the same section of the board, like the, the, the stand, in their balaclavas and masks? <laughs> and it's like, well, yeah, they're going to be trouble, aren't they? It's not a surprise to anyone. <laughs> like, no one's like, who let these little scamps in? We weren't expecting that. As they're all sat That's there Nazi saluting yeah. in the corner, and you're just there like... Mm, they might mm. be trouble. <laughs> this isn't a surprise. No, you got nothing to. Were you? <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> He's gone. No. Um... Sorry, I, I thought you was cracking. No, it? okay, no, just basically just saying that you know, fuck them, fuck the racists, fuck and him. well done to the, the England who did did a good thing. Well done, boys. Well done. It was an enjoyable time. Um, speaking of racism, um, I am a ra- no. Um, did you? Well, I know. You, I, I, I don't know why I'm pretending that. I'm, did you see the image that I showed you four minutes ago uh, <laughs> of uh, the banner of Davikarigi? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well, well. well. Um, so a Liverpool fan took a image a photoshop like assumably photoshopped image of yeah. uh david Carigi holding the um champions league trophy mm-hmm. and his i don't know what would you say 30 inch dick probably yeah. 30 inches, yeah um i'll be honest one of the main mysteries i had was was the poster pixelated or was it added to every news outlet i couldn't tell but <laughs> Me and Adam did some digging, and we found an unpixelated one. And, yeah, not cool. Right, let's just get that right off the bat. Not cool. I don't... <laughs> but... Not, no, not but. But's the wrong word. Don't do that. That's racist. It's like, don't... No, no. However, I would love to spend five minutes inside the man that did that's head. <laughs> just, Just a little bit. Just like him there, like, you're out, love. I'm just going to the game, um, going to Genk to see Liverpool, you know? And he, she's like, all right, okay. He's like, I might make a poster. And she's like, oh, what? Six times uh, Van Dyke, the, the Colossus, uh, Salah, King of Egypt. No, I was thinking of doing Origi's 30 inch dick. <laughs> oh, oh, right, okay, cool. Um, yeah, no, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Right, okay, how much is that going to cost us, honey? Oh, it'll only cost us, like, 300 quid. All right, well, Christmas is coming up, and the kids, um, actually, uh, they've, they've got to get braces, and that's going to be quite expensive. No, no, don't worry about it, love. Fuck them. Uh, <laughs> I'll punch them out. It's fine, it's fine, they'll be fine. The kids don't need that. Origi needs to know what I think of him. Honey, I don't think that's a good idea. I think UEFA might maybe come for you if you... No, no. It's going to be absolutely fine. Don't worry. It's not even racist. No, 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 Mark, it is. It is racist, Mark. Like, that is racism. No, no, it's fine. I'm just saying he's got a fucking big dick. No, no, Mark. 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 We're assuming he's called Mark. Yeah, I'll just, you know, pick Mark out of the head. It seems, you know. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. I mean, then, you know, I'm condemning it completely. I'm making light of it. I'm, but I am condemning it. Yeah, you... Uh, yeah. You shouldn't be doing it. You shouldn't be doing it. Let's put it out. And you know what? If if Ari did have a dick that big, that would 
impede his footballing ability massively. Mm. Also, if, if you did have a penis, this is a good question, if you have a penis that big, yeah. could you score with it? Probably. Like, if you had specially designed shorts to allow a lot of leeway in the movement up front, because obviously you couldn't get your dick out, because that would be indecent exposure, but if you had enough mm. room to for it to swing about in there, in your shorts, do you reckon you could... Do you reckon that would be ruled out? It would probably be like... Would it be cheating? Like, the joke is, a, you know, a third leg, but is it actually a third leg? Is it leg? a third leg? Is it... Would it be... Ball, ball. Not handball. Ball, ball. No, oh, that wasn't my finest one. Bell, No. Um, when the back post asks the questions that other other podcasters, for other football podcasters, don't dare ask, we at the back post want to know when Tweet us. does the dick us. become too big to score with? <laughs> We're getting to that point in the podcast, Adam, where it's falling apart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I feel like there's uh, a quick shout out to uh, RB Leipzig's second goal yesterday. If I ever scored that yep. goal, um, I would die happy. Arsenal are still getting beat. Are they? Good. Arsenal are still good. getting beat. It's 2 1 now, half time. Excellent. Good. And one final question to end the pod on. Mm -hmm. Give me your favourite ever United moment or footballing moment in your entire life. If you could relive one Ooh. footballing moment, what would you take? Because there's a follow-up question to this. It's probably got to be because I was only 12 at the time. I was beating Chelsea on penalties in the Champions League. Okay. Might be quite difficult because you're a child when you went through that emotion. But here's my follow-up mm. question. Have you ever had sex better than that experience? I don't think so. No. I was assisting this at work the other day. I don't think I've had sex. Full stop. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think I've had sex better than Tottenham Ajax last season. Hmm. And that's okay. <laughs> I would love to experience it again. Sex or... As, a, a, uh, well, both. <laughs> so are you okay? Has it been a while? Well, let's not talk okay, about that. Okay, right, cool. Uh... <laughs> so, if anyone, you know, knows any single women out there... The... <laughs> if anyone knows any single women, there's no other, there's no other um, preference to that. They're the only two criteria they need to meet and send them Adam's way. They need to be female and single. Literally nothing else matters to him. He's gone silent, and I feel like it's time to end the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what, what I'll say is I'll say tell your dads and tell your uh, your girlfriends <laughs> tell your dad's girlfriend <laughs> <laughs>